Whee! Hey everyone, Pablo here, back in my room. Cause honestly, I'm just way too tired to go over there. I have had a long weekend, but I'm gonna try to make this Pokemon episode. Now, what's up with the beanie and the poofy jacket? It is cold in my room. Seriously, it's that time of year where it's getting colder and I can't use the heater. So, yeah. And I'm recording this around the night time, so it gets even colder. That's basically my day. So, someone gave me a comment. Well, someone commented on my channel saying that um, the channel is under the name of Pokedex Pro. And that's not my, like, stage name. You know, like, how some people have stage names, like Tamashi or something like that. Uh, she, has actually, she has a really good channel, by the way. Um, some people have, like, Peanut Butter Gamer, I've heard of him, I guess. You know, like, he has, like, a stage name. I'm pretty sure that's not his real name. I, like, yeah, a stage name, I was never really that into nicknames. I didn't name my Pokemon, not myself. But yeah, he commented that the channel's name is under Pokedex Pro, but I don't really talk a lot about the Pokedex or talk about the po the Pokemon's Pokedex entries. So uh, he or she, well, the person had a really good point, and so I'm gonna do that for this episode. For this episode, we are doing the top five weakest or useless Pokemon entries in the Pokedex. Basically, they're just Pokemon that are weak because of what the Pokedex has said about them. Not battle-wise. Battle-wise, these guys, some of these guys are decent, battle-wise. Um, Entry-wise, they sound weak and useless. And I'm too tired to do that whole, like, flip screen, um, my icon and some pictures stuff, so while well, talking about them, so um, I'm just going to sit here. Um, Go old school DSI and read the Pokedex from my Y2 game. Because I go by Pokedex Pro. I put it there because... Oh, my mind I fell down. Um, yeah, I went with Pokedex Pro because every other name I tried like just didn't work. And I thought it would be weird to put my name on it, I guess. And so I put Pokedex Pro because I finished the Pokedex in Black and White 2. Still need to finish it for X and Y. I still need to finish it for X and Y. I'm, I'm working on it. If I could transfer my Pokemon right now, I would already complete the Pokédex. Except for Meloetta. Don't know how I have it in this game, but yeah. But for now, I'm just going to have to wait till December 27th to one day. I have Pokemon Bang and Pokemon Transfer. So anyway, we're going to go to the top five weakest Pokemon slash useless right about now. It's gonna take a while. Number five. So for number five we're going with Jirachi. Let's show a picture with no audio of course for like what five three seconds. Okay, so yeah there's the image. Now we're going with Jirachi. Now I am actually looking at the Pokedex. I am not playing black and white too. Let you guys know. Oh, I've been paralyzed! I mean, uh, Jirachi! The, number 385, the Wish Pokemon. Steel and Dark type. Height 1 foot, which is surprisingly small. Weighs 2.4 pounds. Okay, it makes sense. So, it is said to have the ability to grant any wish for just one week every thousand years. Now, you're probably wondering, how is that weak? Well, in other entries, and in the show, in the anime, plus in the movie, it talks about how... So, basically, Jirachi is asleep for a thousand years, and then he's up and active for only one week. So if you count this Pokemon, you can only use him one week out of your entire lifetime, because there's no way you will live to be a thousand years old. Maybe Ash could do it, but he never catches the legendaries. And who knows if Pokemon, the anime, will ever survive a thousand years. And there's no way I will ever know that, because I won't be able to live that long. So, uh, yeah, it's a conundrum. Like, Jirachi. You can only use it... Jirachi is basically a genie. Except, a genie, you only have three wishes. Jirachi, you got seven days. So, uh, yeah, he's only useful for one moment at a time. 
So uh, let's go to number four. Just gonna. Okay, so number four, we have Slack Off. Let's show a picture. Slack Off. Now, why is he useless or, you know, pretty much weak? Pokédex entry standards. Number 287. Uh, the numbers are from national Pokédex. I, like, I am not going to do regional. That's, that, I, don't, I do not have the energy for that. I'm going national here, people. So, national number 278. 287. Typing, normal. Height, Two feet seven inches. Okay. Sounds uh okay, alright. Weight fifty-two point nine pounds. Yeah. So what makes this guy useless besides um on the show him him being so lazy and um sleepy? Well, it eats just three leaves a day. It is satisfied. Other than that, it sleeps for twenty hours a day. So this Pokemon is worse than Jirachi, cause, or is it slightly better? Okay, so would you rather have a legendary Pokemon you can only use for one week, or would you rather have a lazy ass Pokemon, barely eats, and you can only use them four hours a day? That's a tough one. So tough. I'd rather play with a Pokemon four hours a, a day. Or have a legendary that can grant your every wish for a week. Wait, actually, it just occurred to me. Why didn't Max just wish for Pokemon uh, in the movie? Or, wait, why didn't someone just wish for Jirachi not to fall asleep? Why didn't anyone just think of that? <laughs> Bam, I just poked a huge hole in Pokemon logic. So yeah, number four. The Slack and Slack Off. The Slacker Pokemon. Okay, number three, we got Spoink. Now, Spoink, National Pokedex, 325. I'm Spoink. He's the bounce Pokemon, and he's a psychic type. He, his height is two feet and four inches, so it's a little, little shorter than, uh, you know, a little shorter than uh, Slack Off. Now, what I wonder is, does that count the pearl and his tail all coiled up or all extended out? That's what I kind of wonder. Its weight is 67.5 pounds. Wow, that is heavier than a Slack Off. Maybe because Slack Off only eats three leaves a freaking day. So, yeah. Now, what makes this Pokemon useless besides it knowing Splash? Is its description says that using its tail like a spring, it keeps its heart beating by bouncing constantly. If it stops, it dies. Not only is that messed up. Okay, number two. What do we got here? We got Pichu, which apparently I've also caught a Japanese one. Wow. So, Pichu. In National Pokedex. 172. Description, tiny mouse Pokemon, which I thought that was Pikachu's description. Electric type, height, one foot. So, pretty small, but it's a baby mouse, so yeah. Makes sense. Pikachu's like, what, like a foot and a few inches? Its weight is 4.4 .4 pounds, so I think it's lighter than Jirachi. Okay. So, what makes this Pokemon weak? I've always felt sorry for Pichu. So I guess this is why I included him on the list, because he's pretty weak, and I've always felt sorry for him for being so weak. So its description is, an electric sack in its cheeks are small. Even a little electricity leak, it becomes shocked. So, oh, if it, even if a little electricity leaks, it becomes shocked. So basically, he's basically just like a fail. You hear that, Pikachu? Your pre evolved form is a fail. Your little brother is a fail! Or sister. You really gotta continue on. Um. So that's. So, yeah, Pikachu is very weak in the anime, in the Pokédex, in freaking Smash Brothers. Like, it shocks himself when he uses an electric move. So. 
like, yes, in the game, he doesn't, like... I, I was just glad that doesn't happen in the game. In the game, I thought he would get in a dumb ability in which he gets a little damage from shocking himself. That, that, that's what I thought, like, when I heard about his entry. I'm just glad they did not... Oh, I'm just glad they didn't do that. And that would be, like, a terrible ability. <laughs> oh, the ability that when you use electric type moves, you get shocked. That would just be terrible. Terrible. I feel so sorry for you, Pichu. 100%. But yeah, there's no really, there's no true order in which this is going. So, for number one, I'm pretty sure it's obviously what we're all thinking. But I'm going to say it anyway. And number one, obviously, is everybody's favorite, Magikarp. So yeah, Magikarp. National Pokedex, or just Kanto Pokedex, because it's the, one of the first gens. 129. Magikarp, the fish Pokemon. Obviously, it's a water type. Yet, it doesn't learn a water attack. It's like Misty Side. It doesn't learn a water attack. Save its life. Height, 2 feet 11 inches. Weight, 22, oh, 22 pounds. Do, do I even have to say why? Do I even have to explain why Magikarp's weak? I'm just going to read the Pokedex entry because we all know why he's so weak. A Magikarp living for many years can, learn, can leap a mountain using Splash. The move remains useless, though. So, uh, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, ma Magikarp. He can splash and hop. Well, technically, in Japan, splash is hop, which makes more sense because Hopip and Spoink can learn hop splash. You know, hop. So it makes sense. And it also makes sense to play description. Since it can hop over a mountain, if it's really strong enough. Yeah, it's still useless. And technically, if it's strong enough to jump over a mountain, how come it's not evolved into a Gyarados? You curse by holding Neverstone, Magikarp? You curse by holding Neverstone? So, yeah, like, and true, like, and I think Magikarp would be number one if I did put it in order, because it actually shows its weakness even in the game. Like I've said throughout the rest, throughout the rest of the list, I've said, "Oh, he's playing my only weak Poke Dex wise, and sometimes anime wise." But I just realized right now that Magikarp truly is the weakest because he's also reflected on the game. So maybe there was an order in here. I don't know. <laughs> maybe there was an order. Maybe there wasn't. I was just reading some random Pokedex entries that are a weak Pokemon. Now, think about it. Magikarp. What moves does he learn? Splash, tackle, fail. Oh, I'm, I mean flail. And for some reason, well, actually, I think he learns flail at thirty. So yeah, he evolves at level twenty. So if you have at thirty, he learns flail, I think. And if for some reason you don't want to evolve him into a Gyarados, you can learn bounce. Which might be one of the reasons. I don't know if Gyarados can learn Bounce. So if you want to teach Magikarp Bounce, because it's a flying move, and when it evolves into a Gyarados, it gains part flying. I, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. I don't really play competitively. Seriously, like, ever since me and my friend got X and Y, he's like, oh, we should battle. I'd be like, nah, I'm not really ready. I don't really feel like it. Let's just play Mario Kart. <laughs> That's basically me right there. So, there you go, people. Top five. Weak, weakest slash useless Pokemon. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy me doing something that actually involves the Pokedex. So, yeah. Hope you like that. Hope you click. I hope you click like. I hope you click subscribe to my channel. Hope you check out my other videos. I have hope and faith in you guys. So yeah, enjoy your weekend, people, and. Uh, yeah, I basically got nothing else, man. Sorry, I, I just planned this last minute. I just got home from school. I'm so tired, and I'm probably going to play some X and Y. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to catch them all. I love spinning in this chair. Whee!